Today I'd like to show you how to make an eight loop bow. This is a larger bow for your larger gifts or onto your centerpieces, etc. Eight loop bow means that you have four on each side. Here's your four here, here's your four here, and then you have the little tails that come down. And it's just wired with the pipe cleaner on the back. So I'll show you how I learned how to make this. I had always wanted to learn how to make a nice bow. I love bows. So I went to class. I had a very good teacher. So this is our ribbon. This is for an eight loop bow this size. You will need like three yards. And I'll show you right on the box. Right here is nine foot. So that would be your three yards. And this makes a nice big bow. And this is... The size, you can see the width, which makes a really nice bow too with the width. It says it's 2.5 inches wide. So I just leave it on the spool. And what you wanna do, let's fold this down, is decide how long you want your tail right here on your bow. If you want a short one, you leave a short one. If you want a longer, then you would make it longer. So I just want a kind of a shorter bow here. So you take this and you make a loop. So this is your first, first loop right here, it's your first loop. Then you squeeze that together. This is wired ribbon, by the way, which I love wired ribbon because you can. it's easy to handle and it's easy to store and then fluff. So you squeeze this together, make a loop, and you take your the ribbon that's on the spool and you want to twist it because you always want your shiny side or your good side of your ribbon out. So you twist it and then you want to change thumbs, Just switch around, hang on to it, and then make your loop on the other side. Just like this. If you need to kind of help it out a little bit, that's what you do. Okay, now you have, that's a one loop bow, one on each side. You could quit right there and see how your tail coming down and do your wire in the middle. But we're gonna continue. You can make as many loops as you want. You can just keep going. So you twist, hold, hold, make your loop. Hang on to that loop with your thumb, your finger. Kinda stretch out your loop there a little bit, fix it. Then you twist, and this always keeps your shiny side out. And then you twist it. Hope I'm not going too fast. Then you twist it, make your loop, bring it down, twist it together, hang on to it. You gotta make straighten out your loop. Give it a twist, hang on to it, switch thumbs. And the more you do this, like anything, the more you practice, the easier it gets for you. So see, that one's kind of like that. So you just play with it, twist it around. And then here we go, we're gonna twist it. Hang on to it. Okay, make our other loop. So right now, let's count our loops. Right now we have one, two, three loops. And here's one, two, three. So I think we'll go for, we're gonna go for four for each side. So twist, hang on to it. it, takes a pretty good grip. And make your loop. You wanna make a twist. Keep that sunny side out. And make your loop. Excellent. And then just squeeze it together. So let's count our loops. So here's one, two, three, and four. I'm going to bring this over and cut it down. Here's one, two, three, and four. So take your wire, put it in the middle, and you're going to you're going to twist. You kind of kind of bring it. Bring it down and twist it. Just keep twisting, twisting, twisting.
twisting. And then you bring this down, bring your tails down, and then this, I usually will lay it down on the table, and then you just kind of go every other one, each direction, different directions. And you have your bow. And there's our bow. You can just keep kind of, you know, you know, fiddling with it, how, however you want it to look. But that's your basic bow. Now with your tails here, make sure that this is, yeah, there's this shiny side out. Okay, you just kind of cut this off and cut the other one off. Here's our eight loop bow. Just going to fiddle with it here a little bit. So you can kind of see how it would look. Maybe nice new packages, your centerpieces. And you can do with this with any Christmas, any holiday. I hope you enjoyed it.